Today I'm going to be predicting the next five world heavyweight champions. So let's get right into it. Now as of this very moment of the recording, there is no match for the world heavyweight championship on the line at King and Queen of the Ring. And I don't think there's going to be considering the fact that we just watched the last Raw before King and Queen of the Ring happens. So yeah. I'm going to skip to the next WWE pay-per-view, which is Clash at the Castle, where I think we will inevitably get Damian Priest versus Drew McIntyre. Just a quick point I want to throw in here. For Drew McIntyre and CM Punk specifically, and maybe some others down the line, this is barring that they are going to be healthy at the events I booked them for. So let's just say for this situation, Drew McIntyre is healthy, down the line CM Punk is healthy, and anybody else, they're all healthy when I need them to. Something that is talked about time and time again is how WWE failed to give Drew McIntyre his moment at Clash of the Castle against Roman Reigns back in the day. So I feel like WWE is not going to miss this opportunity. They are going to have Drew McIntyre beat Damian Priest for the World Heavyweight Championship, which will now see our first new world champion. Now, while I absolutely love Damian Priest, this is the storyline we're going on to next. Drew McIntyre and CM Punk. So Drew McIntyre will come out, gloat about how Damian Priest was a paper champion and Drew showed him and won the World Heavyweight title and then CM Punk will come out and approach him. They'll have a back and forth. Drew McIntyre will laugh at CM Punk and say, you can't even do anything about it. You're not even medically cleared yet. Where CM Punk will tell him, don't worry, I can't do anything yet, but you know when I will be cleared? For the next WWE pay-per-view, which is Money in the Bank. CM Punk will tell Drew McIntyre that he may be safe for now, but he's going to win that Money in the Bank, and then he's going to be coming for that World Heavyweight Championship. While Drew is going to still be focused on CM Punk potentially winning the Money in the Bank, we still need to give him a match to defend at Money in the Bank. So I think let's just give him Jey Uso. There is a storyline there already. Jey Uso did technically beat him. And, you know, Drew will say it wasn't clean, whatever. It will somehow lead to Jay versus Drew. But like I said, this is not the storyline we're building to. And I know I'm kind of throwing Jay in there to lose again. But listen, I love Jay Uso. I just like seeing him get title opportunities. Um, but yes, Drew McIntyre is going to win this one. And of course, the most important aspect of Money in the Bank is that we get a repeat of what happened at WrestleMania 25. CM Punk wins the briefcase, and this leads into the next storyline. Because we are now going to further Drew McIntyre versus CM Punk, as Drew McIntyre will come out and gloat that he beat Jey Uso, and he was always rightful for this championship. And then CM Punk comes out flaunting the briefcase in front of him and saying, enjoy it while you got it, pal, because sooner or later, I'm going to cash in and you're no longer going to have your World Heavyweight Championship. But given that WWE's next major event is SummerSlam, I think we got to have a pretty impressive bout. So I think it's time for King Gunther. Yes, I said King Gunther. I think he's winning King of the Ring. Will face Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. What are the qualifications? Well, I'm Gunther won King of the Ring. That should mean something. He's a, a beast. He beat Drew, you know, at, at WrestleMania not too long ago. There's your qualifications. Give him the match. But once again, it needs to be one-on-one -on -one Drew McIntyre versus Gunther. And I know people are going to be upset saying, hey, wait a second. The next pay-per-view is Bash in Berlin. Why wouldn't you just do this there? Be patient. We're going to get there. So it will be Darin General versus Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam in Cleveland. And right in the closing moments when it feels like Drew is going to successfully defend his title, you hear... And CM Punk will run down the ramp, attack both Gunther and Drew McIntyre, hit a GTS on Drew, successfully cash in his money in the bank, and become the next World Heavyweight Champion. So there is champion number two. So Drew's title reign will last a little under two months, and I think it's important to then build up the next feud, which is going to be Gunther versus CM Punk at Bash in Berlin. I think Drew McIntyre will obviously have his moments. He'll come out, he'll get pissed off, whatever, but... It's going to be about Gunther who will say, I never got pinned, I never lost, I deserve a rematch. And CM Punk, being the babyface, anti-hero champion, will say, sure, he doesn't care about who he faces. He's going to face Gunther at Bash in Berlin. Here's where I think I'm going to lose some people. Because at Bash in Berlin, it's time for a little bit of payback. Drew McIntyre is going to come out and cost CM Punk the win. It's not going to be a DQ. It's not going to be something along the lines that I expect we will get a referee, a Charles Robinson, let's just say, who's going to get knocked out in the middle of the match because of whatever reason. Drew McIntyre will come out and hit a Claymore kick on CM Punk 
and cost him the match against Gunther, where Gunther will finally get his big world title win and he'll get to do it in Berlin. Now listen, I understand people don't always like when the titles flip-flop so fast. I think, you know, Drew's going under two months of a title reign, CM Punk under a month. I mean, I know it's quick flip-flopping championships, but it's going to lead very well into the future storyline, so just bear with me. Because now I expect Gunther to hold this title until WrestleMania. Now along the lines, you could do some mini fun feuds with Gunther, specifically one match I'd really like to see is a rematch of Gunther versus Ilya Dragunov. This was one of the best matches I've ever seen and I assume they will do it again. I'm going to pin this match at Elimination Chamber. Elimination Chamber has actually been pretty fun in recent memory, so I expect it to be in a place where the crowd is going to be popping, and this match will be electric. I still think Gunther will win this match, despite the way that it ended the last time these two fought. But yeah, I think this is one of those mini feuds you could throw in there, build up for an Elimination Chamber match, and go from there. And on the other side of things, despite the fact this is all about world, the World Heavyweight Championship, not what's going on outside of this, there are two other important things going on. The first one being Drew McIntyre wins the 2025 Royal Rumble, last eliminating CM Punk, punching his ticket to WrestleMania where he will try to get that World Heavyweight Championship back. Being left without a spot at WrestleMania, CM Punk would beg and plead to find a way to get into the main event of WrestleMania, which is Drew McIntyre versus Gunther at this moment. He would either, let's just say, win a qualifying match, or maybe if he wins the Elimination Chamber, he could pick which world title he wants to go after. Somehow, some way, Drew McIntyre, Gunther becomes CM Punk versus Drew McIntyre versus Gunther, a triple threat for the World Heavyweight Championship at WrestleMania. Surprisingly, this has been the hardest part to book because I don't want Gunther to lose back-to-back -back WrestleManias. I really want Drew to get a moment at WrestleMania in front of fans. And then number three, I mean, CM Punk had begged and pleaded for the main event of WrestleMania, even though he never said he needed to win it. I just feel like there's so many different directions to go with this, but I did have to pick one. So I gave it to the voice of the voiceless. I think CM Punk getting his moment at WrestleMania in the main event of WrestleMania, kind of righting the wrongs of the past where, you know, he was really battling it out with WWE management, just wanting that main event of WrestleMania. And now that we got two nights he could do it, we can pick one, have Punk versus Gunther versus McIntyre, give Punk the win. I think this will be great. And that is our fourth of the five champions. Now there's no other pay-per-views that I know that are scheduled, so we're just gonna have to go through some feuds and then the eventual person who I think is gonna take the title off of CM Punk. So post WrestleMania, one of the matches I think we are going to get is Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk with Raw moving to Netflix. Netflix is going to want Cody Rhodes for sure. So I do think we will get CM Punk versus Cody Rhodes at some point. And I actually think CM Punk will win this match. And by this time, I think Cody will have dropped the undisputed championship. So yeah. Cody Rhodes versus CM Punk will be one of CM Punk's feuds. Speaking of matches I expect to happen, I think we will eventually get CM Punk versus Logan Paul. I think Logan Paul will also move to Raw because of the Netflix changeup. And I think, yes, yeah, CM Punk versus Logan Paul will be a great match. I do believe CM Punk will win this one again, but once again, it will be a great match. It will probably be at a Saudi show given the fact that Every time we go there, Logan Paul gets a high profile match. Which finally brings me to the man that I think will beat CM Punk to become the next World Heavyweight Champion, Braun Breaker. Now, I know people are very iffy on what's going on with Braun Breaker currently. They were upset he wasn't in King of the Ring. They were upset that they're just being given squash matches left and right. But trust me, first of all, I'm glad he's not in King of the Ring because then he would have had to eat a pin because Gunther needs to win the King of the Ring. Uh, second of all, I'm okay with the squash matches because it's not just squashing, it's being upset that he's being put in squash matches. He's actually building a personality of why the hell am I not at the top of the card yet, which is going to be great. Because after spearing Ricochet, I think he's going to force Adam Pierce's hand in this situation to put him in some high profile matches against other talent. To which I think Braun Breaker will shine because he is an unbelievable superstar, can get the crowd behind him as a heel or a babyface, but in this situation, I really like him as a heel. I think he will find his way into a mid-card feud along the lines with the IC Championship. We'll get to that in a separate video, but I think Braun Breaker will have an amazing year, have a big high-profile WrestleMania match, 
win that match maybe against somebody like Bobby Lashley who you know can counter his big style and the same way that the man conquered NXT I think he will face CM Punk he'll hit him with probably one of the craziest spears I think he's got the best spear in the business maybe of all time I think Braun Breaker will become the next and the final world heavyweight champion of this video now of course there's plenty of people we all want to become the world heavyweight champion but I think this is a list that I can understand at least the first four I think Braun Breaker is me just fantasy booking but let me know in the comments down below what you think and who you want to win the world heavyweight championship thank you guys for tuning in i'll catch you guys in the next one peace